thank you to Paradox for sponsoring this stream and video recording that we're doing at the same time. We are checking out the brand new huge Marius update for Imperator Rome, which is now essentially uh, 2.0. I mean, I think the, the version is now 2.0, but it, it feels like a brand new game. So yeah, Imperator Rome 2.0. I have not played this for quite some time, so I honestly don't know where to start. Um, but I think a good place to start would actually be diving back into the, into the tutorial so we can see what's changed, what's been overhauled, and work out, kind of do this as a, like a learn to play or kind of relearn to play with Lionheart of, uh, of Imperator Rome. So let's dive into tutorial. We'll play as Rome. We have a set number of objectives to kind of work our way through. That way we can take our time, we can explore the new features, um and and go from there and obviously with the, the stream live on twitch chat you can dive on in and help on out the glory of rome welcome to the tutorial by completing a series of objectives you'll find at the top right of your screen I'll introduce you to the basic principles behind playing imperator rome button on the top right bar of your screen embossed with a reef and spear will allow you to open and close to all objectives you have to complete the objectives in any order you choose. However, uh, if you're new to Paradox titles or you wish to refresh your knowledge, I do wish to refresh. This is the great refreshing. Um, recommend you follow the objectives list from top to bottom. Okie dokie. Roma Invicta. What could go wrong? Census uh, Populus uh, Romanus. Wome is your friend. So many uh, Life of Brian quotes right now. Right. 20 years. The... Uh, nascent uh, Rome Republic has fought a harsh campaign against Samnite people in the south. Although victory often seemed far from grasp, the war ended in Rome's favour, resulting in the liberation of the important Greek city of Neapolis. The Samnites, however, have retreated to lick their wounds, are far from defeated. In the north, the Etruscan people eye the expansion of the Republic with apprehension. To the south, um, mirrored Greek city-states plot behind one another's back all the while healing to their benefactors in Greece for aid. On the far-flung island of Sicily, the foreign invasion of the mysterious Carthaginian Empire threatens to upset the precarious balance of power in the region. Will Rome rise victorious or fall to internal strife and barbaric hordes? And Lionheart not being able to play the game. Uh, the fate of the Republic rests in your hands. Oh, good God. So it's kind of showing us the, the key people that are about for the Republic. Rome will have a truce with uh, Etruria until 455. Okay, so we've got... Well, we're, we're at 450 right now. So we've got five years before the Etruscans will potentially um, go after us. That's fun. The start of the situation. June tutorial, we'll be playing as Rome. Good. Current date, which you find yourself in top corner, is the 1st of October, 450, uh, or 450 years after the founding of Rome. Rome has recently established local dominance, and the stage is set for your expansion throughout the Italian region. First tutorial, we've taken care of a few matters for me. Oh, good. I'm glad you have. Click to learn about resources. I'd love to learn about resources. Along the top bar, we have various resources. We have treasury, manpower, political influence, military experience, stability, aggressive expansion, War exhaustion, tyranny, and support in the Senate. That's always good. Um, spend a moment getting acquainted. I have got well acquainted with them. I've bought them all coffees. Um, <laughs> we'll provide you with significant bonuses to your treasury and influence resources. Oh, good. Bonuses. I love some bonuses. Who doesn't love some bonuses? So, this is this is Imperator Rome. There's a new, I believe, Atlas map mode here, which looks quite cool. And one thing I do like is that when you pan around the map, it doesn't just go left to right. It does it at a bit of a, an angle, like you're going around an actual Atlas, Atlas, which is which is cool. This is this, I've got. To admit, I think Imperator Rome's map is probably one of my favourites. The Lionheart sass machine is set to eleven. Yeah, maximum. Sa I feel very sassy today. I feel sassy. Let's have a look. That's us there. If we go back to political map mode, that helps because that shows us our colors. Um, I think I think this is this is the time. I mean, this is the whole point, right? Revisiting Imperator Rome with a big 2.0 update. I, I'm feeling Imperator Rome right now. I think we're going to have to do some more streams of this because um, I'm already engrossed in turning this patchwork quilt into a glorious red eagle. Rome. <laughs> and if you want to check out Imperator Rome. If you're watching this on YouTube, check out the link in the description or on Twitch. Type exclamation mark Rome. A juicy link will appear. Click it. Do it. Um, right. So we've got some navies over here. We don't have um, we don't have permanently raised armies anymore. 
So that's that's a thing. Military. So legions are your permanent uh, kind of professional forces, whereas uh, now you also have kind of this Crusader King system of raising levies. They make up the vast majority of your forces. Um, but then legions, I think we can enact them or create them once we've got technology, if I'm not mistaken. Paint the map a glorious Roman red. Feels like it has its own identity now. I, I feel like it's it's taking this time. You said like some of you were saying it's it's incorporated some Crusader Kings features. It's built upon some Europa Universalis features, and it's also built and developed its own Imperator Rome features. I feel like now it is standing way stronger than it ever did before. Just wait until you see the innovation tech tree. Oh, let's take a look at that. If you think there's good things we should check out, let's do that. We're just we, this, this whole stream and video is just exploring and revisiting and relearning Imperator Rome today. Technology. We have martial advances. Oh my days! It's a, it is. It is now a tech tree or a tech flowchart. I like it. What's planning mode? Oh, I can mark uh, inventions of interest. Innovations. Innovations accumulated when your, our technology increases. They allow us to adopt new inventions through the zeitgeist. How do I say that of our nation without having to invest gold? Oh, that's nice. So we can do that one. Uh, when activated, Rome gains one free province investment. Hmm. Military artisan. I mean, that sounds good. Martial advances. Legion maintenance cost plus five. Okay. So if we go back... Let me just go back to the military. Legions. When the correct laws have been enabled... Oh, they're good. They've got a tooltip. Like they do in CK3. That's good. It hovers up. Correct laws have been enabled. You'll be able to raise legions from the various regions under your control. Unlike levies, legions allow you much greater control over the composition of your army units. You, yeah, so you can actually choose what's in there as well. If you don't have the right laws, will it tell me which law I need for that? I mean, actually, what are our tutorial? Have we got one of raise all the levies? Have we got one about raising a legion? We do not. So I'll have to, I'll have to work that out on my own. Okay. We've got a lot. We've got a lot we need to do in our objectives. We're learning all the things today. Oh, material. There's more. There's more stuff. It keeps on going. Oh, I zoomed out and there's even more. I thought it was just the one tree. It keeps on going. Oh, there's cohorts there. Law for raising legions freely can now be enacted. Ah, uh, so is that what we need to get down to? Military provincial investment cost minus 10%. Am I sure? Yes. Major discovery. Huzzah. Can I just keep going through? <gasps> Can I just push through to it now? Oh, let's, let's, let's do it. Basic training. Starting experience plus 5%. Because we've got, we've got, we've got eight innovations to start with. Cool. Active drill. Boom. Professional training. Boom. And then we're not going to have enough to get down to the cohorts though, because we've got to go through... Legion maintenance cost though is minus 5%. That'd probably be good to get. And then elite recruitment standards. Starting experience plus 15%. Heavy infantry discipline plus 5. When activated character with exceptionally high... What is that one? That is... I forget what that one is. That's the marshal. Is promoted from the ranks. Oh. Yes. And then we've got we've got two left, so we can get to veteran reassignment, experience decay. Yep. Oh, we can. Do we not? Surely we need both lines. Oh yeah, need. Oh no, needs one of. <gasps> so we can go straight through to cohorts straight away. Perfect. Right. Well, I mean, that probably would have been good to spend those um, innovations on other things, but I've gone for the classic Roman strategy of just getting all the legions straight away. Or do we do we get innovate? No, so those were innovations across everything. We've decided that for the glory of the Republic, the only thing we need is military. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> but I can now get legions. So I think that's 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 all we need to worry about. I have the technology, not the laws. Ah, that yeah, that would make sense. Where are the laws? Show me the laws. We've got the technology. Where be the laws? Government? Government would be a place for laws, I would have thought. Yep, there's laws. Right, here we go. Ah, yes, I see. Ah. Right, did I did I jump the gun? We will not be able to raise any legions. Tunic reforms. Professional training. Oh, so I've got to work my way all through that. Why can't I get that? 
Roma's great. Oh no. <laughs> Unrestricted number of legions. So I, I may ha I have I have jumped the gun. Yeah, he goes like, you did. You did jump the gun there. I got very excited. I saw legions and I zoned in on it. That's fine. We will go to Republican Levy, because that's what we need to work through all of these, right? Regional or or do I not need to go through these actually? Can I get any any legions? No. Not able to raise any. For that then. Rome has regional power status. So we need to get... We need to conquer more territory, I'm assuming. We need to become stronger. We should probably unlock that, though. Regional power. I, I'm pretty sure we'll unlock that as we play through, though. So we won't worry about any of those laws. Let's do the stuff. So we need to stabilize Rome. That is our first one. We'll go from top to bottom. Oh, purchased an invention. I've done that one. Check. Oh. We gain... Oh, nice. Some marshals. So, yeah, what does, that, what does that all mean? Nation overview. Let's have a little looky. Have a little looky here. Power base of Rome. Okay. Just all characters of Civil War can break out. Free state investments. Okay. We are primarily Roman. So, that means that our pops uh, are... Levy. So, this is something cool as well. With your, your culture type dictates the type of... The percentage type of troops that you raise in your levies. So, pops belonging to this culture can raise the following levies. 15% light cavalry, 30% heavy infantry, and 55% light infantry. You didn't just jump the gun. You jumped the factory of all the unmade guns. <laughs> um, Hellenic, that gives us following bonuses, national system, happiness. And we've got 399 pops. Glorious. And these are... our. That one is locked, though. These are our, our, our ideas that we have. We've got martial ethos, permanent shipyards, and sanction privileges. Lovely. And then we've got various decisions that we can do. Although none of them are ready to go right now. A plutocratic republic. Fun. Let's not click any of those. Let's do these. Let's stabilize Rome. We need to perform a divine sacrifice. And now that is over in religion. And that is up here. Perform Divine Sacrifice. That will uh, cost us some political influence. That's fine. And that will give us um, monthly stability change plus 0.15. I mean, our stability right now is actually fine, but tutorial says we must do it. So that is what I shall do. Click. A stable country. Huzzah! Congratulations, you've successfully stabilized Rome. Good. As you play more, you'll encounter a variety of modifiers and effects that alter your stability, the cost of increasing it, and the effects from having it. Events will often affect your stability value. We provided you with some extra stability as a reward for completing your objective to take you to your maximum. Thank you. Oh, lovely. We're now at 60. Stability increased. Lovely. Right. Invoke a deity. That's next on the list of things to do. Let's do that. So, we've got Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, and Ceres. Now, you can you can replace them as well, which is pretty cool. I think we've got plenty of gold, haven't we? But more gold is always good. Um, that's the amount of manpower we have. Let's... Gold for the gold god. Let's go for Mercury. Calling on Mercury will grant you national commerce income of plus 15... Uh, 0.50%. You guys are like, wah, Mars. I'll do that in like five years because we can't declare war on the Etruscans for five years anyway. We've got a truce with them. So we'll wait. We'll do Mars next. So let's build up our money so we can afford a nice glorious war. Yes. The gods are smiling on us. Good. Check. Gods have truly blessed us. Now Rome is ready for war. No, no, no. I said five years. We recommend you check out the other omens to get a good idea of what else you can... Yep, yep. Not yet. Not yet. Right. Let's have a little look at Build a port in Capua. Capua is over here. Hello, Capua. Apparently, I need to build a port here. Possible buildings. What have we got? What can we build? We've got forums. We've got academies. We've got mills. Library, granary, aqueduct, port. Build a port. I've probably got to let it play out, haven't I? Build me that port. 
port will be finished on the 4th of April. Okay. While we're waiting for that, what else can we do? Have 15 ships. Okay. <sighs> Let's, uh, what have we got? We've got, we've got two navies so far. Classes one and classes two. Create a new unit. Flanking side so you can choose the cohorts. That's pretty cool. Um, I would like to buy some more ships. How do I do some more ships? Does it tell me? Ships can only be constructed in a territory with a port. Holding a mouse over the subjective will highlight um, all your starting port cities. To build a new ship, click on either Ostia, Neapolis, or Capua if the construction of Capua's port is completed. Territory window, click the military tab. Ostia, tactical tab, build ships. So we need 15. 15 ships, okay. Um, how, is it just going to build me the one? Or is it building me multiple? Let's find out. That's going to take a while. How much does that cost as well? Costs, base cost is eight. Well, that says four and five. I guess there's extra modifiers affecting it right now. You can get quite a lot there. Um, check the micro builder top left. And I have the, oh, I then just click on the place where I want it to be built. That's really cool. That works good. I like Right, so obviously we'll need to unpause for them to be actually be built. So that's going to take us a while. Uh, what else can we work on? We can construct an aqueduct in Rome. Let's do that. Let's go to our buildings. Let's get an aqueduct. We're Rome without an aqueduct. That doesn't seem right. Uh, import fish in Latium. I can do that. Give me some oh so tasty fishes. Give me some fish and we'll have it from the Bernia. Yes, please. Quest the route. Lovely. Now that should unlock there. There we go. We've got some fish. The fish must flow. Boom. Hey, Dirk. Hey, Dim. Thoughts so far or is it too soon? Too soon right now. We are we are just working our way through it. Give me, give me like another hour and I'll probably be able to share some thoughts. But I mean, obviously diving back into a grand strategy that, you know, like Imperator... It's always fairly overwhelming at first, but you know I'm able to find my way through these these objectives fairly well. This is it's got a lot of information. It's a very information heavy grand strategy, but like definitely from what I remember of the game at launch, the UI changes alone. It's everything is so much like more like easier to to access and and uh, see what's in place. It makes a lot more sense of kind of how it's all arrayed now than what it was like before. So we're working on the port. We're working on the 15 ships. We're working on the aqueduct. Raise all the levies. In order to go to war. I don't want to go to war. And then raise some levies so we can make war on our neighbours like uh, Sabinia. Ah. I right click on them. Yeah. So that's Sabinia over there. Um, You've got two military tech. That's nice. Can we see how many troops you potentially have? I cannot declare war before the 1st of November. That's fine. That is fine. But yeah, so we need to go to war with them. Okay, well, I can't yet anyway, so we'll leave that. Conquer conquer the, uh, the Sabini. Okay, finish off the Samnites. Relations with uh, Sipontum. Where are you? Sipontum. So we need to have... What was it? Was it 100 relations with them? 100. Okay. How much do I need to bribe you? Opinion of Rome is minus 30. And our opinion of them is plus 10. And we need to get them to 100. Wow. Okay. You can't know... From what you read, you can't know the military strength of the country without covert actions. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Rome will gain 6.6 .6 tyranny, though. This will improve their opinion of us by plus 50 over time. Send a gift. Let's go, Matt. Improve opinion. Boom. Embrace the tyranny. 
Embassy established. Lovely. So that set that off. That's all good there. Now, what else do we need to do? Destroy Aturia. Conquer Southern Italy. Conquer Syracuse. Right, we've done everything we can now. Having the game pause. So let's unpause things and see what stuff starts kicking off. Mm, they've really improved this outliner as well. Like, we can see our... And maybe I didn't notice it before, but we can see the diplomatic activity at a glance as well. So we can see how we're doing there. So we were minus 30, and it's already now minus 28. That's really useful. Send plague-ridden corpses a gift. <laughs> so yeah, the Turians, the Etruscans, they will probably go to war with us soon. We've got, we've got a five-year peace, though, with them. Right, I can now declare war on Sabinia. So... Let's raise some levies. So this is where it feels like um, Crusader Kings because you raise levies now. And then you have your legions as your permanent kind of standing forces, which is cool. Raise all. 30 pops from Italia. Three additional support. So this gives us an idea of what we'll get. So we'll get three, um, three groups as supply train cohorts. 8 as heavy infantry, 17 as light infantry, and 5 as light cavalry. That's from Italia. And then Magna Gratia will get 1 light cavalry and 3 light infantry. Raise them all. And obviously that's going to hit our, our tax, uh, our manpower, and our research point. We need manpower to replenish our armies. Beautiful. So we can see in our outline where we've got our two forces. I am just going to combine them all at Rome, I think. So head on over here, please. I do like that you can raise your levies without having to declare war as well. That's quite good. So this is the, compared to Crusader Kings, this is more about the nation that you're playing as and about the individual characters that make it up. But there are they have added in... Um, can I merge them? Cannot be merged. Cannot merge from different governorships. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, well, let's have you over here then. We could choose the flank size if we want to. I'm going to leave all that. Sand. Oh, you, I forgot you had like, the mooses and stuff, didn't you? Shock action, envelopment. With your current army composition, envelopment is an effectiveness of 100%. Let's go for that then. So you can choose tactics for the army. Based on how their uh what their composition's like again envelopment looks like it'll do the best there but it does you can see what it's what it's good against so you also need to see what the enemy's going to be using as their tactics tactics based on animal heads yep so it's like the, the wolf tactic of envelopment that classic wolf tactic right let's declare war die um so a war without casus belle uh-huh Ooh, they've Oh, I can call all of my allies. They've got an ally, though. Show superiority. That's the war goal. Yeah, we'll just conquer them. Um, war exhaustion. We can see that there. The aggressive expansion. Yeah. Stability will take a minus 25 hit, but we're at 80 anyway. They're in defensive league. They're automatically joining the war. Okay, cool. Yeah. Confirm. Rome gained 6.3 tyranny. We're becoming rather tyrannical. Oh no. What shame. So yeah, we have to fabricate a claim otherwise to get that without the hit. So you move in there. You move in there. But their allies are gathering. My allies are gathering. Let's actually go. Let's go hit their armies first over here and have you conquer their regions that away. Yeah, we're over our supply limit as well. Can I split this one, actually? There we go. Boom. That would be quite helpful. There's, they've got a, a fort over there that we'll have to uh, siege down, I think. Tyrants in Rome? Never! I 
think they've just run to the hills, actually. So we've got our war score. I'm actually covering up the war score. But we can see the first war of Roman aggression. We can't actually see how many they've got because we didn't take covert actions against them. I do like that, though. That you can't see what they've got unless you spy and stuff. That's pretty cool. We can see the effects of stability, war exhaustion due to the outcome of the war and how it's going so far. We've enslaved two pops already. We've got six war score though. We've already taken that one. Dance for me, dance. We're taking attrition because the, sub the unit weight is 14. Yeah, we've got don't have enough to supply it basically. Who are they allied with? They've got that that flag is what I need to be looking out for. There's their army over here. Let's go after them over there. Oh, you can't go can't go through because that fort's uh, yeah you've got a zone of control with that fort. So I need to go round and hit their ally over there. Let's do that. We're sieging them slowly. Pretty sure covert. Yeah, we'll check out the covert. Someone remind me to check out covert actions in a minute. We've also got all these up here. Lack of commander. We should probably have a commander, shouldn't we? Oh, wait, you're, you're my new ship. Yeah. So what I actually need to do is uh, build some more. Let's build some cheap ones. Um, so how many have we got? We've got 12. That'll be 14. 15. I'm just going to bring you guys up here. And I should be able to merge you guys together. Get a bit of conquest going. Get a bit of conquest. Check my missions as well. Let's have a little looky. So we've got this one. Since the founding of Rome or Roma by Romulus hundreds of years ago, our proud city has skirmished with our Italic neighbours, vying for control of the coasts and cities of Latium and Campania. Uh, our recent victories over the Etruscans and Samnites have proved our superiority, and it is clear that it is Rome who is destined to unite the Italic peoples and lead them to glory. Conquer or subdue the Italian peninsula. Uh, sure, start that one. Ooh, that's really cool. Oh, there is. Just when I feel like you couldn't get any more depth going on, it just keeps on going. Tame the Brutians. My. Approach the Greeks. So we're now currently working on Story Italian Allies. Has great or equal to 70 territories. We will declare war on all our italic subjects. Uh. Nope. Unfulfilled conditions. <laughs> let's let's not do that one. Middle mouse button. I was gonna say, yeah, it's weird that it wasn't letting me go around. Encourage expansion. There are at least three non-subject Italian states in mainland Italy with greater than minus 50. Improve relations or create alliances. That sounds good. Destroy the Italian allies. I pass that Congress. I kind of feel like that because if we can just assimilate people, that'd be great. Encourage expansion. Claim, oh, on completion, I've got claims on the Italian peninsula. Rome will be able to pick between various military modifiers. Ooh. What do we, what do we reckon we should go for? Pan Italic Congress to, in, to get um, diplomatic events and create relations and alliances, or should we go for encourage expansion? I think I want to move away from destroying Italian allies at the moment because I don't want to declare war on all our italic subjects I think that's what we're already doing 
It's 451 years after the founding of Rome. I don't quite know what that converts to in like AD or BC or what have you. You need to ally with that other nation to the right. Free cast spell is super valuable. So expansion. We are, we are, um, yeah, working. We've got good, um, Oh, no, actually, that support's gone down. Why has that gone down? That's probably because we declared war on these guys. You guys say encourage expansion. Okay, encourage expansion. That's currently in progress. Claims on the Italian peninsula. We're going to be able to pick between various military modifiers. Cool. So, let's go here. What don't you like? Bellicose stance. We are victorious. Nice. We've had a battle there. We smashed their armies. Lovely stuff. Oh, yeah. Consult. Good, good, good. I haven't even looked at the, the government yet. So much going on. Um, so we can change this, can we? Show opinions. Okay. Let's click on it. Can we change it to read more about diplomatic stances? I don't think I can change it. Aggressive expansion minus 17, though. They don't like that we've gone to war. That's fine. We'll work on them. We'll work on them. The jealousy of the Samnites. Okay. Delivers a polemic against the Samnites. Samnium's days are numbered. Gains claims on Samnite territories and provinces in Campania, Apulia, and uh, Lucania. It's more complicated. Yeah, so they'll lose some loyalty in the Senate. No, let's. We, we've said we want to go for aggressive expansion, so give me those claims. Oh, here we go. The followers of the Temple of Jupiter Optimus Maximus. Um, as long as it's not the uh, followers of the Temple of Bigger Stickers. What can we get? It's, this is Claudia. Hello, Claudia. How are you doing? So we've got a lot more interactions with the characters now. God, there is so much we can do with them. So much you can do. Ay, yeah, ay, ay. Where do you begin? It's a distraction. There are already plenty of religious places. Rome gets 50 political influence. We lose 5 stability. Or well, their benefits strengthen our religious stance. She gains 15 popularity. Rome gains embrace religion for 12 months. National tax minus 10%. Omen power plus 20. Getting too much influence. She dies. Oh, wow. Just kill her. That's more tyranny, though. I feel like we're already building up the tyranny. See you, no spoon. I think... Well, let's go for benefits. Strengthen our religious stance. Good. Let, let's do it. Can we be... Let's, let's be friends with Claudia as well. Attempt to make friends. Publius Fabius Sophus. We can sponsor some games. We'll abandon si Oh, we're, we're current. Oh, classic Rome. Classic Rome. He's currently siphoning funds. Is that a reference to the Life of Brighton? It was. Rome is your friend. But besides the roads, the aqueducts, the, the reading, the literacy, what has Rome ever done for us? <laughs> oh, thanks for uh, PW. Glad you enjoyed those series. Yeah, we're currently sieging down their allies. Oh, here we go. The Romano uh, Sabine feud will be erased from history. I mean, I'm. I'm. We must forget our ancient ties. We're, we're all. We're, yeah, we should have done this earlier. <laughs> We're already at war with them. Sure, that's... Everyone likes gold. That is true. Um, So this is the Roman cash for gold scheme, is it? With all the ways of making friends, a gift is perhaps both the oldest and simplest. In the world of politics, wealth shared generously and unconditionally has more influence than kind words or affection. How much is the friendship of Claudia... Oh, we're trying to... Right. So we're trying to make Claudia like us. This should do the trick. Make a large amount of progress towards befriending her. She'll receive 250 of their personal wealth. Oh yeah, how much is how much personal wealth? 
He's got personal wealth of 291. So yeah, characters have their own wealth. Not it's not it's not our treasury. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. No need for extravagance. Moderate chance. Perhaps she respects humility. Uh, there is some other way. Uh, are there any? Is there any way of working out? She's chaste and righteous. So I don't know if that will have. I'm hoping that will have an effect on our options. I think let's go for respect humility. And also because I'm a tight ass and I don't want to give away too much of my personal wealth. He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. <laughs> uh, I should be the Life of Brian quotes. I haven't watched Life of Brian for ages, actually. Oh, surrounded by vultures. Rome will not be cowed. I'm just getting claims everywhere, aren't I? Uh, aggressive expansion. It's going to upset. I'm going to be at war with a lot of people, though, at this point. But I kind of feel like let's 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 go full Roman conquest on this thing. Send in more troops to help with the siege. We're still sieging down here. How are we? We're at minus 14. Over here at 42% of completing that siege. Oh, the gladiator. A previously unknown gladiator has risen to great prominence in the arena. Drawing huge crowds and, by all accounts, putting on a peerless show. A well-placed box seat could easily win her over. Ooh. Or I could buy the gladiator for her. Oh! Who doesn't want to own a gladiator? Spartacus, yeah. It's fine. Rome is always surrounded by people who hate him. That's true. Yeah, let, let's let's buy a Spartacus. It's going to cost... Uh, Rome loses 10 political influence. We've got 500 right now, so I think that's fine. Uh, I do lose a little bit of popularity. How is my popularity right now? 17. That's okay, right? Sure. Corruption. I love how there's a, a dagger with blood on it. Like, how many people have you murdered today? Oh, no, sorry. It's my popularity here. 69. We all... Yeah, buy it. I am console. Yeah. Your spices of Jupiter. Let our faith in Jupiter. Gain 10 political influence. Ooh, what's this? Grease the palms of Chief Augur Publius. That augury is not worth the risk. Do you need... How, how loyal are you? Your loyalty. Loyalty is waning, my lord. Husband to a murdered wife, father to a murdered son. I will have my vengeance in this life for the next. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for... Uh, we lay our faith in Jupiter. What could possibly go wrong? All specs returns. Hazar. Oh, wait. No, it's gone wrong. Things have gone wrong. After a tense wait, Consul Publius receives an inscrutable chief augur, Publius Cornelius of Vinna. In the Comitium, Publius slowly steps forward and raises his palms to hush the thronging crowd. With coy trepidation, he finally bellows, Negation! The smiles of the crowd drop as stunned silence falls, slowly breaking into pockets of despairing wailing. Despaired wailing. Consul Publius looks glumly at Publius. Publius looks glumly at Publius, who merely shakes their head. So he failed, he failed to get some divine favor for us basically with the gods good eat unused trade routes i believe that isn't there a thing to do automatic trade what do we want more of that's the thing is that working out what what everybody wants What's everyone want? so we can see what our what our pops are we can see their happiness state of them there's so much going on with managing your pops lacking loyalty heresy Mm. Oh, you say I can move over, could I? What am I, what am I covering? When the decision show up, it hides the box. The box. I'll check it when the next one shows up. I'll check it. Um, but yeah, more trade routes that we've got up here in the capital. 
that's the cost of it, isn't it? I'm not sure. I, do I want to I want to export more things? Really? Can I can't create any roots though because we don't have any spare going yet. We've got a lot of excess stuff here. Awesome. Thanks, Alex. I'll check that out later. Thank you. We'll leave all of those for now. Don't worry about that. Max political influence. You cannot store more than 500. Right. Therefore, you should consider spending some of it. Okie dokie. Can't do that yet because we need to wait five years. It's only been like a year. Monthly stability change. That will cost us... Yeah. And we can also invoke a devoto. Monthly war exhaustion. Okay. Mm, Base cost is tyranny. Yeah, let's not do that then. Let's do perform divine sacrifice though. I keep actually, I can keep doing it as well to increase our stability, I think. Yes, you can. No more killing pigs though. Ooh, really quick. Contains three treasures. Additional two treasures can be found in own provinces. Ooh. We have many treasures. Good. So that's what we've got over here then. Cool. No worries. Thanks, Alex. Do I ever get bored and just spin in my chair? Uh, no. I don't tend to get bored while I'm playing these sorts of games. Plenty to keep me busy. Right. Let the war continue. Right, we're slowly but surely sieging our way through. We've got two of our forces there. Historic wars. Best form of attack is the best form of defense. Rome gains um, offensive. Oh, that's what you're talking about. The decisions, is it? There we go. I'll move them over here so you can see them. There we go. Do, 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 do. Surely it is the walls that keep us safe. No, no, no. Let's not be wusses. Attack. Use the Iron Man strategy. Attack. Give her what she wants. The ruler will make a large amount of progress towards befriending Claudia. She becomes censor. Quintus Fabius Rulianus loses 15 loyalty. Currently at 40. Hmm. This is not right. She seeks a particular government office. What's the worst that can happen? Give her what she wants. I want, want to be friends. Running on supplies there. Can we see if anything? Oh, the siege is won. Huzzah! Wunderbar. They've got an army over there. Let's go. Let's go get them. I say that's their territory that we'll need to move into because the um, Sabinians have been broken. We strike as soon as possible. Claim fabrication speed plus 0.50. Boom. Tribal proposition. Our tribal neighbor, uh, Marcia, has started investing a lot of their treasury into opening up the borders between our two nations. Hopefully this will prove beneficial for us, though their tribesmen are somewhat more unruly than we are used to. We should keep Marissa in mind uh, as they can prove good friends in the future. Surely only good things will come of this. Let's hope friendship is worth it. We gained 6.51 gold to our treasury. Nice. Or actually, are they? They're here. Friendship with Claudia. Our efforts to encourage a friendship have paid off. Naturally. We are now friends. Now, what can I do with you now that we are friends? Well, I'm guessing I can get her to vote my way and things like that. That's cool. 
Can you only play as Rainbow? No, you can you can play as anyone on the map, I'm pretty sure. Like you just zoom on in at the start when you start a game and you can choose choose who you want to play as. I've I've played a little bit in, in Britain before. We might do that. I might might try on like an Iceni run again. Or maybe we should do like a <laughs> a rise of Cornwall from the ancient world and play play down here. They're pretty tough though, tribal ones to start with. Yeah, we're covering up the wall score at the moment. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. You can see our wall score over there, so that's okay. Got a battle going on over here. Let's see how that plays out. We have a lot more troops than they do. And they are soundly thrashed. Good. Rise of Cornwall 2, Electric Boogaloo. Etruscan threat. Etruscans must be destroyed. Gains claim. Yes, that's that's just getting those claims. What could possibly go wrong? Backing of Pisenum. I've led the men to glory. Looting. Let the looting be gentle. <laughs> Let the men roam freely. None shall hide. Oh, what does that do? Oh, we get a cruel personality trait. That's cool. Should we be cruel? None shall hide. The Fabi family gains 10 prestige. He gains 70. They be oh, the first levy becomes loyal to him. Yeah, forget about that. You get individual loyalties. That's pretty cool. The middle option is let the men roam freely. A civilian slave is killed. Oh, no. That gives us popularity. Maybe we should do that, actually. Let's just get the popularity. That'll be good. Let the looting be gentle. Let's be gentle. Let's be gentle. Nice and gentle. We are gentle sackers of your cities. Right, that's 56. We're still sieging them there, though. There's the force over there. Oh, no, there we go. Again. Let the looting be gentle. Give me that sweet, sweet popularity. We're now at 100%. Uh, Umbria must submit to Rome. Yep. Right, war score it. And sue for peace. And then you're going to give me everything. Uh, oh, can I also ask for that as well? Uh, well, yeah, it cannot be greater than the value. Right, yeah, yeah, I remember this now. I, I'm remembering things. As I play through, the, the, ref the refreshingness is... Uh, coming back to me so these will add in i can't remember what this is specifically called this is the combined value of it the more we ask for basically the more our aggressive expansion goes up just walking into someone's home and taking their jewels before bidding them a good day yeah thank you for your jewels good day i've been gentle at raiding you today um, so we can probably take... We can't ask for more than 100. If we ask for all of that, that's too much. I'm going to ask for that because that will give us a nice... Oh, that damn, it's just over. I was going to say that would give us a nice line across there. But okay, I can't take that one. I'll take this one. This all hits our aggressive expansion. If it goes above 50, we're at 8.2 right now. If it goes above 50, the severe penalties will kick in. Negative impact on other nations' opinions. But at the moment, we're fine. Um... Yeah, we might as well grab that because that secures quite a lot of territory. Therefore, it's just that little bit we can't get. Gentle looting would be like an unwelcome surprise tax. Um, yeah, cool. That sounds good for me. Um, we can see. Yeah, we don't want to see territory. We want to um, well, see. Oh, so no, you can can see individual territories. Or we can go for the whole provinces, which is just easier here. Council subject become subject. We can we can vassalize them if we want to. Make them a tributary state. A tributary or a tribal vassal. What's the difference there? They pay one pop to me each month. Oh, that's cool. No, let's full full conquest is the way forward. Increase your rank to regional power. Nice! That means that we can then do the we can get the legions! Yes! That'd be an elite. 
Oh yeah, here we go. I always remember this. After protracted conquest, we have finally routed the Sabian armies and laid waste to their lands. During the sacking of their capital, many important prisoners were taken, many of them having previously held important positions in the Sabinian council, uh, clan council. They now languish in our dungeons, awaiting whatever fate we decide to impose upon them. Our enemies deserve no quarter. Banish those of class and put the rest to the sword. Imprison their leaders, let the rest disappear. Sabinian culture gains annexation conquest of our people for 60 months. Yeah, no. No, no, no. Um, but what's happened? Statue of uh, Sanctus will be moved to Rome. We get a statue. Oh, no, that we always get sa We get statues every single time. Is that to kind of mark our conquest? That's pretty cool. Pass judgment on important families. You have to decide what to do with each one. Eh. I think we will go for... I mean, reducing our aggressive expansion is probably the best one to go for. So banish those of class and put the rest of the sword. Yes. So there we go. Following effects. So we're now a regional power instead of a local power. Since we are now an independent country with at least 25 territories, the following special rules can be used. Guaranteed uh, other countries can threaten war, can have alliances... We have the following effects. Build costs minus 5%. Provincial loyalty minus 0.1. Integrated cultural happiness plus 8. Capital import routes plus 1. Um, integration speed plus 0.15. Monthly wages for characters plus 7.5. Diplomatic relations plus 1. Monthly political influence plus 5%. War score cost minus 5%. Diplomatic range plus 50%. And threshold for civil war minus 3%. Yeah, that's fun. Right, well, look at that. Bit of conquest. Bit of conquest. Um, and assign various objectives. That's pretty cool. Oh, independent for keeping reserve. That's quite nice. We're probably going to want to disband the, the levies now, aren't we? Disband all levies. So that we... Well, we're going to go to war with our people, but we might as well... That let them recover. How expensive are legions? Oh, we should be able to take a look at setting them up now. We've got to just go to our laws and do that there. Let's see what happens when we disband them now. So let's, here we go. Disbanding all levies will make it uh, will make all its levied pops return to their homes and block you from raising them again until four months have passed and give the following effects. Are we getting some experience? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, let's do that. Can I raise this levy again until 452.5.19? Four, four, that's fine. So we can get some traditions. Don't know if we can if we actually unlocked any of them. We haven't embraced any of them yet. Uh, Roman traditions. There we go. We need more. What currency is that? Is that experience of some kind. Quite sure. I remember there's something to do with experience of your levies. Like it doesn't complete disappear, it goes to something. But anyway, yeah, let's go to government. Go to laws, because we can now do Punic reforms, which means we'll be able to raise a legion at the capital region. The Marian reforms will be the ones that allow us to uh, raise unrestricted number of legions. But for that, we need to be a great power and have the military reform event chain. So, Punic reforms. Bada bing, bada boom. There is more tyranny. Punic reforms. Levied citizens are the core of the Roman Republican society. And this system must remain the main part of our armies. Nonetheless, wars against Carthage and Macedon highlights the need to lighten the old recruitment rules, allowing even those with little to no property to serve. Likewise, the levy must be supplemented by a more lasting force uh, always ready to hurry to do the Senate's bidding. Oh, stability drop. Okie dokie. Right. To fix that. Religion. 
Divine Sacrifice. Uh, yes, please. Get that back on up. Quickly. Uh, oh, there's mercenaries as well. Oh, they're all nicely arrayed now. That's good. How much do they cost? 100. And then a certain amount each month. Cool. Yeah, military. Military. Legions. Assemble the Legion. Oh, this is fun. So we can create it for 25 gold. Edit composition. Add archers to your legions. Ooh, God, that's going to cost five. 500 pops? Surely not. Oh, manpower. Derp. Yeah, I was like, no, yeah, it's manpower, not pops. 500 pops. I was like, oh, woo, that'd be crazy. Um, so, right, we're editing the composition then, and these are all the commanders in it. Um, so, do we? I think we feel like we should just have a heavy infantry legion. The music is very nice in this, yeah. The update certainly looks interesting. Oh, is the GOG? Oh, is it separate like that? They're not updated at the same time. Hopefully that's coming soon, Vargas. So the update's out for everyone that's got it through Steam. Maintenance is 0.64. We've currently got... Oh, yeah. We currently actually don't have enough for that. So I actually can't make a massive legion here. We can only just about get it. We probably need to invest in some more income, more trade. Um, let's just go for a nice, cheap and cheerful legion with two heavy infantry cohorts. Create the legion. The first legion is born. Huzzah. A new era has begun. There we go. Oh, look at them. They look fancy. Very fancy. Two heavy infantry always ready for battle. Monthly cost. Spanning this unit would cost four gold. Don't do that. So they can they can always stay. Roma and Victor. We build roads. But of course. So they can move faster. Okay, so they should they should be all supplied and fine there. Chance of cohort loyalty. And they're led by this chap. He's our general of the, the first legion. It's fairly popular. His loyalty is 52. That's okay. Maybe I should make, should I make friends with the ring to trial. Oh, wow. Make rival. Oh, don't want to smear his reputation. I feel like he should be someone we should have as our friend. I recommend picking this up. Uh, definitely, if you if you if you like what you see, you like the um, this era, um, and want to get into a really deep nation sort of building focused grand strategy, yeah, grab it. Because especially with this 2.0 Marius update, it is. I mean, it, it really does feel like a whole new game. Like I'm still. I mean, we've been playing it for about an hour and I'm still in the kind of early stages of just taking it all in again because it does feel incredibly different to how I lost it. There's a few things that I've been going through and I'm going, oh yeah, I recognize that feature and that mechanic. Uh, and I feel like there's a, there's enough in here that I recognize and obviously the tutorial helps you kind of get started and you know what to do. Um, but it's definitely going to require many hours of play to really kind of uh, build up and get get myself flowing into it just because it feels like everything has had a really solid overhaul Ooh, oh they're taking attrition uh-oh like right, this little apple symbol that's nice um let's make let's make friends with him let's try and make friends with him um so where do i need to see send you then to get some supplies not quite sure well they, they, assuming because i've just created it, i probably need to just wait a little bit and it will go um yeah can i can i do some trade why can't we do some trade Get some trade routes. Probably because everyone around me, I'm, I'm making upset. Ah, here we go. We can create a trade route here. Oh, to Latium. This will earn us about 0.9 a month. Oh, that's cool. Good. 0.8. Yeah, let's get the excess of cloth. Okay, that, that help. If you've got excesses of resources, that means you get um, local bonuses for having 
excess of them. And then you lose that if you trade it. But let's create that trade route. Supply weight is three. Supply limit is 72. Rising from obscurity. Okay. Becomes a prominent fam... Um, posthumous. Becomes a prominent family in Rome. Take on a minor character. Uh, number of minor characters. Rome gains 15 approval from the populars. I need to take it. I haven't looked at government at all yet. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look at what's going on here. Because we can see the factions in the Senate. Um, so if I did that one, it was saying 15 approval. Uh, they would gain approval there. Yeah, they would, they would come into power. We are currently the optimates. The Bonnie are looking pretty, pretty good. Oh, that's the that's our control. Sorry, that's so that's the approval, but our control is still much higher. Uh, where something that yeah we want to go for invite Publius Scopulus Savario, because that will give us more approval. That's who we're currently playing as. Oh, he's currently running things. When your ruler belongs to this faction, be affected by the following modifiers. Noble, national noble output. Yeah. Boom. Let's give us a good, good, good popular rating. Skew the assemblies. Every head of a great family will gain five loyalty. That's quite nice. Grim pays plus five. Tyranny. And 25 political influence. Everyone likes gold. We're sending in more gold and personal wealth. How much have I got? 375 personal personal wealth. Yeah, let's give them a huge amount. We want to make sure the, the uh, general of the legion is well bribed. Oh, someone wanted a sword waggle. My bad. Thanks for the reminder. For the Republic. For Rome. For the legion. Ah. Waggly waggle waggle. Every day I'm sword waggling. Us. Yeah, we need to go conquer some more territory. That's what we do need to do. Conquer some more lands. Conquer some more lands. Uh, also, I kind of would like to get through more of these. Oh, we can do the port. Yeah, let's check off our tutorial objectives that we're now doing. The new port. Boom. We've now got 15 ships. Bada boom. We've constructed the aqueduct in Rome. Bada boom. We did raise all the levies, but I obviously didn't check that box when we had them all. We've conquered the Sabini. Finish off the Samnites. So yeah, time to gobble up some peeps. We actually have... Show superiority. War oh, score. We, we, have, we have claims for that, don't we? They have a lot of allies, though. Oh, they've got... Mm, their opinion of me is... Yeah, we are. We are not working very well on improving their opinion of us. So that is the... That's the companion. So we'd grab all of that. Awesome, Mitch Manny. You're a Galta green screen. It is. It is. Yeah, it's expensive, but it, it just does the job really well. Scorned families. Ah, yes. Many, many, many are scorned. Um, sorry? I'm not sorry? Deal with it? Disloyal characters. Uh-oh. Following characters have a loyalty below 33%, which means they're looking to start a civil war. Civil war will break out in 20 months. Ah. What if I were to bribe you? Grant holding. Hmm... Uh, that won't... Nah, it's only a little bit. Smear reputation. Where is the kill him button? Um, Is there anything we can enact... 
through religion to perhaps help? I don't think so. Hmm. What's the best way of dealing with this uh, disloyal one? No, no mods. Just the new 2.0 update. Out now. Grant holding. A bribe would work. Personal wealth. How much personal wealth have I got? Uh, that would be most of my personal wealth. But it would sort him out. In one corruption. Yeah, bribe him. It's Rome. When in Rome, bribe everybody. Titles on the sign. Censor. Um... Didn't we promise Claudia we'd, we'd make her a censor? Has something happened to my friend Claudia? Can she not hold it because she's a woman? Probably. I probably should have popped that guy in here that was disloyal, shouldn't I? That would have done it. Send some monthly wage. Uh, statesmanship prominence. We probably want to send someone from... My house, really, don't we? Can we promote people from my, my faction? Yeah, this guy. He's a scorned family. Oh, so we should, yeah, we pop him in there. He should probably feel better about that then. All roads lead to bribes. Caesar, probably. Yeah. <laughs> probably. Right. Right, right, right. I'll let things run for a little bit. Hoping that they get... The might of Rome. What's this? The man must address the soldiers. Distribute copies of the speech. National manpower plus 5%. That's pretty good. Yes, yeah, give us more manpower. Generation, please. Benefits of power. A few bribes and some thugs will solve this. It's the target of brazenly outspoken critic. No. Oh. More tyranny. Sure. Everyone loves some tyranny. Uh, I'm actually going to... Can I disband... Yeah, expand that one because I don't need 15 ships anymore. A ruler is born. A daughter. Ah, Prima. Fabia Prima. Lovely. Oh, oh, there were twins. Oh, lovely. Marcus, that's a good strong Roman name. Yes. Making an impression. Publicly praises deeds. Oh, yeah, this is the general of the, the legion. Mm hmm. Yeah, publicly praises deeds. Yes, please. Our stability is improving. Stability is rising, my lord. Um, I can declare war. So, friendship with Lucas. Naturally. Good. Friendly with the general of the legion. If we go show superiority, that'll allow me to conquer... That'll allow me to conquer more, right? Rather than just think... But I think show superiority will say that I... That means I don't have a claim, right? Whereas these I do have claims, so I shouldn't take a tyranny hit. These guys say we need at least one more positive than negative reasons. <laughs> yeah. Disloyal subjects. Oh, no. They're not going to support me at all, whereas these guys all will. That's not so good. Let's see. Can I do some covert actions to find out what their strength is? No. No. Uh, influence actions, enforce peace, intervene in war, access actions. Hmm. My subjects appear not to like me. Yeah, that's not so good. Um, so it's all these guys, and they 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 like us. Are they allied? They've got a truce with them. I'm their overlord. Yeah, they're not super keen on it.
Why aren't you guys just disloyal subjects? Why are you disloyal to me? Kill them all. I can actually assimilate them, can't I? Or attempt to do that eventually. Can't remember where that was, though. Or can I not do that while they're a... Uh, while they're a uh, vassal, as it were. No mur murder for us in this one, sadly. Yeah, the yeah, average joke. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, I think we'll play this for like another half hour. Try and work through some more of these objectives. Um, conquer southern Italy. Yeah, I mean, that's a bit of an ask, isn't it? We've got to finish off the Samnites, but they are, well, they've got a lot of friends. No one wants to, none of mine wants to support me. And I don't, I don't think that going after all of these guys is going to be the smartest decision I can make. Although we had way more troops than the others. What do you reckon, guys? Risk it and go to war with the Samnites and declare war for Campania? Or do we go for show superiority? Or do we just stick with that one? I'm assuming that... I'm assuming because we've got the the claim on Campania, we won't take the... Um, we won't take the tyranny hit. Risk it for the biscuit. Saying go for superiority. Say, cause, but superiority would allow me to take all their territory. But then I would have tyranny, I think. How bad is tyranny? <laughs> Friends if the Senate supports the war. Will we see if we go through to the next menu if they support it or not, I guess. I'm hoping they would support the war, the, the war considering this is kind of like a core objective for us. Or are you, or are you saying it's only tyranny if they don't support it sort of thing? Okay, show superiority. Let's do it. Um, with no allies. Ah, oh, here we go. Less than 60% Senate support. Right. Is that just overall Senate support? Let's have a little looky. Accession support. Yep. Where is my Senate? Is that approval? That's control? Is that the same thing? Oh, yeah, we can set tax, can't we? Change all that as well. Yeah, I don't know how to fully how you fully find out how much the Senate agrees with the war declaration. Yeah, would have thought there'd be a. Well, if it's saying sixty, you would think there's be a somewhere where you can see what uh, what's going on. Um, do capital surplus. Oh yeah, we can we can set stuff out here, can't we? Block surplus. We're not allowing any trade-offs that make us lose our capital bonus. Yeah, that's fair enough. Got those ones going. Deny permitted requests. Oh, no. Yeah, don't deny that. Mars still can't do you yet. I mean, at the moment... I mean, these guys have a little bit more approval than me. But in terms of control, we've got way more control. We've got uh, 57. Oh, right. Right. We've got less than 60% control. There we go. Smart. Thank you, Lars, as well. So, yeah, it's going to be that. Um, so, can we increase our control? The higher the Senate influences the character has compared to the other characters in the country, the more seats their party will have. So is that linked also to how popular we are then? Give the opposing side the good old stabby stabby. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go for skew the assemblies. 
And then we gain more support. Let's see how that works. Nope. So we actually we lost a little bit of control there, but our our uh, approval is going up. Okay, well it's not it's not a huge amount of it's not a huge hit, thankfully. Is there anything I can do here? Um, base cost. Da -da -da. laws. Anti piracy maritime laws. Security assembly. Oh, an activated approval from all of them. Fabricate claim cost minus 50%. That's good. Monthly tyranny reduces with that. Centaurial endorsement. War council. Monthly political influence. Let's go for that one though, Fabricate Claim Cost. That improves approval across the board. Do that rather than total, rather than tribal assembly. So yeah, we've got a lot of approval right now. But we don't quite have the control we need. But a zero hit. But that should still help us out anyway, I think. <laughs> Right, let's let's try this. Go to war. Let's show superiority. Claire Warren using the Yep. Oh, so ooh, we must have That's not coming up with the Senate. Oh. Do I need to maybe unpause it for a for a second for it to kind of kick through? No, it's still there, but we've got the approval, so I guess there's not they're not worried about tyranny anymore. Show superiority. Okie dokie. Confirmed. Yeah, we didn't get any tyranny for that. I'll take it. Um, we should probably we should probably do the old assemble the armies. Oh, I can add more cohorts to them if I had gold. That's good as well. Oh, it's not. Is it already calculating how much it's costing us? Yes, it is. I can totally add more to this. Um, more heavy infantry, please. Yeah, it's actually not costing us a huge amount. I'm going to add some heavy cavalry as well. Ah, oh, but then it'll be less less levies, right? Mm-hmm. 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 Let's do it anyway. I've got 3,000. Reduce the fort maintenance when not in war. Yeah, I remember that as well. You have to, like, min-max the um, economy stuff. Right. We will raise... All the levies. Send these guys over here. Go, go, go. Send these levies. Um, okay. Send you guys to that one. Send you guys to... Actually, no. I'm going to send you guys over here. Just because I want my... My legion fighting their armies, probably. The Ascendants of Rome. A sing of warfare and a man of war. Rawly subject, traitor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. These guys kicking off. Peasants are rebelling. Oh, yeah, they've already engaged my army over here. We're defeated. But we will have our vengeance with this mighty force of 13,000. Politics game compromise. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mark, rise, raise all the levies. Thank you. Our levies are raised. Splendid. Watch this battle. Let's go smash them. For glory. Here we are absolutely annihilating them. The fury of Rome is unleashed. We are a smashing victory. Smashing victory. Just remember to put maintenance back up uh, when you're at war if you do lower it. Yeah, I think after this war, yeah, we'll try and we'll lower that again. Okay, they've been broken, but they'll come. They'll, be, they'll come back. And a greater number. Right. 
intercept them there if you can. I'll send you guys over here. How's the wall looking so far? What's well, very high? Their, their war enthusiasm. Our war enthusiasm is fine as well. Army losses, we've lost, yeah, 2,000. They've lost 3,000 so far. We should be okay. How am I feeling? I mean, the game feels totally different. The game feels completely different from what I played. Oh, here we go. Let's bring my army around. It feels very different to what I played, like, back at preview events even, um, to be honest. I, I like there's a little bit that I recognize, but the vast majority of it, it, it really does feel like a brand new game. Oh, they came in with a big army. My my legion is just about. Ah, I was hoping that would hold long enough for us to get in there. I'm not so sure. Their morale is lower than mine, but I don't know if I'm going to break them before they break me. They've got a lot more troops than I do. Rome might be in a little, little, little bit of trouble here. Suffering from, but I don't think we'll get that way. Oh, th well, thank you very much for subbing, um, Capetian. Get <laughs> off your face. We've been defeated. Um, yeah, it does feel very different. Like, that's why I'm playing back through the tutorial today, because I'm kind of trying to remember like, how, how you play everything. What do you do? slowly work researching towards stuff yet. Uh, the ratios. Research efficiency yet is not great. Wee bit of a pickle. Yes. How do we replenish them? Do we need to give them uh, just time, isn't it, from the manpower we've got pulled on up and they will eventually come back? I think. They've got 15,000 with all their allies. Um, can I not say to my friends, my allies, um, would you please pull your finger out and join my war? Because you refuse to. I don't think I've got the option to do that. Because we haven't quite remembered how to play. But there's, there's quite a lot going on. So where do you start? That is the question. Yeah, they are starting to replenish here. That's good. Um, send you guys out over there. So we're not all just trying to supply back up. We just have to try and pick them off when they're not in one big 15k stack. But they might well. Gains 50 opinion. Ooh. Yeah, receives made. Do you know how to integrate cultures from whatever it is? Uh, no, do tell. Remind me. I kind of I was looking for the assimilate one because I remember taking them over in that very quickly before. Oh wait, is that yeah? Because you get a certain amount of levies from your pops, right? So it's assimilating. Is that am I on the am I on the right track there? More pops gives you more central manpower. I think something like that. You no longer assimilate cultures. I think. Oh, okay. I can say I don't think I've got that anymore. That's fine. We're, we've, we've got the man. We've, we've basically used up all the manpower. We have replenished, but uh, there we go. <laughs> That's that. This is basically just CK3. No, it's very different from CK3. Again, the, the main focus is on, on the nation you play as rather than individual characters. You accept them and they levy something like that. Oh, okay. got a lot of characters there are characters in this to manage as well but it's not as important we could hire some mercenaries as well that's true um although monthly maintenance i'm not sure if i can afford that we might have to get some mercenaries though yeah if you want to check out imperator rome type exclamation mark rome into the twitch chat uh, or if you're watching this on youtube in the description army maintenance yeah because if you lower if you decrease their pay the morale goes down yeah, so tweaking all of that is probably a good thing to do. And also lowering that when you're not at war. Thank 
There we go, culture. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Primary culture Roman of the Italic group. 38% happiness. Number of pops, 463. Tutorial, we're, we're getting there. We've got, we've got the main things going. It's just um, none of my allies wanted to join me in this war against the uh, Samnites. So uh, they have proven to be fairly strong. How many are there? That's Roman. We want the next one. Yeah, these guys' decisions. Right to lead. Will that, will that do more? How to colony. I don't want to do that one. I don't know if we get a uh, levy them. Change the civics rights. Um, they're right for the free, right? Yeah, so they're free men. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're a little, a little bit unhappy because I conquered them. Enough uh, manpower to throw them into another legion. Let's build them up. We're just gonna have to gather our forces for a little bit. Unless I can see in diplomacy, what have we got? Oh, here we go. Change our stance. All score cost minus ten. Teasing stance. Domineering stance. Integration speed. Loyalty of subject states. Opinion of our subjects. Yeah, that might be a good one to change to. Opinion of neighbours is minus 20. Yeah. Domineering stance. Let's change to that. See if that will help us out. They have got a lot of troops there. I don't even if I combine all of these guys together, I'm not gonna have enough. To break them. I'm gonna have to get me some mercenaries. Let's gather our forces together then. And let's get some mercenaries. That's eleven K. That'll be 5.39 maintenance every month. The Spanish unit will cost 166. 100 straight away and then 539 every month until I've got rid of them. But if we can win this war quickly, we shouldn't go bankrupt. For the Republic. Oh, there they are. Noise. Right. Ah, uh, yes. I may have underestimated how long it's going to take you to get over. How many How many ships would I need to sail them around here? I have ships. Isn't it most like EU wrote? Yeah, it's kind of built off that. Um, built off that with EU4 and then a sprinkling of character events and things like that. Uh, they've gone for Moose. They'd be, be best at Bottleneck. Does it tell me how many... I think... How many ships is it to... How many men... How many thousand men can they... Can this number of ships carry? That's what I want to know. Is it... If they've got... 11,000, that would be, require 11 ships. I think so. A 
Let's try that. Oh, have I been engaged by... I just got... Taken out by pirates. Okay. Oh, no. No, I didn't. They were moving through. I was about to say, what? That would have been bad. Oh, we are facing off against that city-state, though. Yeah, I thought so. Well, let's move on and then break them. Let's see if we can get these mercenaries on over to help me out. Oh, they are coming over to kill us, though. Pull back. Run away. Oh, leading from the front. Oh, the Admiral. Oh, no. Gains coward. It's the right thing to do. Yes, die. <laughs> Yikes. That fort should lock them in there. He just... Did my 12 ships just get... They've got broken because of these guys coming on in. Okay, okay, okay. You guys are going to have to walk on around, I'm afraid, because it doesn't look like my ship's going to get you in time. Tishina approaches. Rome gains 100 gold. Uh... Yes. Thank you. Yeah, mercenaries to me. I probably should have picked mercenaries that were closer. That would have been a smart one to do. Right, they are going to siege that down. That's fine, because hopefully that fort is going to hold long enough for my mercenaries to arrive. And hopefully they'll take some losses that I then can move in with my with my three armies here. I think we'll stream we'll stream this until we've hopefully completed the conquest of the Samnites here today. That'll be a kind of a good uh, a good stop on this uh, re relearning re ex re-exploration? Is that, is that the word I want? Probably not. But yeah. Kind of working out how it all how it all works again in 2.0. I'm definitely have to give, give this another go. A few more streams as well. Move in, I get defender bonus. You reckon I'll be able to beat 14,000 with 12? We are taking attrition as well, I've just realised. Yep. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. You think? Nah. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Let's find out. Oh, don't want that. I don't want the battle screen. I think they're s they've still got the advantage. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> it's fine. We've got reinforcements coming. So with whatever's left from this, we should be okay. Should be okay. Our morale took a, took a nosedive though. Oh, what's this? Scandalous Dominus. Gives you rakish and louch tendencies. Oh, good God. Oh, what have you been doing, lad? <sighs> Prefectus Militaris. You've been, you've been causing trouble, haven't you? You've been causing trouble again. Oh, no, 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 no. Under investigation. Uh, what is his loyalty right now? 53. The four the four re's. Re-exploration, re-expanding, re-exploit, and re-exterminate. <laughs> Token inquiry. Monthly popularity. Honestly, why waste our time on this? Uh, a token inquiry. Let's go with that for now. Oh yeah, we were using... We were using the shock tactic. We were defeated. We lost a lot. And so did they. He's lost some popularity. And some more exhaustion. So he's got a martial skill of 10. That's why he's pretty... He's pretty proficient. Mercenaries, come on. Not paying you all this money to go on a walk. I mean, I am, but... Trial developments. Let's see what happens. 
clearly this is all some sort of smear campaign. Anything can be fixed for a price. Let's see what happens. I don't have I don't really have the money or resources to sort you out. When will there be a new third age let's play? What well, after the, the high elf series? Or when will the next high elf series be up? A small fine is all he deserves. Yep. Yeah. Rome gains some more money, that's all good. I'm not too upset by that. Can we do another omen yet? No, we need to do discipline. Or maybe actually aggressive expansion change. Uh actually not terrible. River cross. Oh yeah, it was a was on a river cross. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, river crossing. Rup row, Scoob. Next high elves will be out on Thursday. Check out the uh, community tab for details. Okay, we've got <laughs> we've got eleven thousand mercenaries on their way, marching to try and save Rome here. I think if so, we can see uh, their losses. Yeah, they've lost they've lost quite a lot. We've lost sixteen thousand. I'm hoping that this is the vast majority of their forces, though, all pulled together so that once we break them here, they will have nothing left to kind of rally rally behind. The thing is, I feel like I barely even scratched the surface of Imperator after this. I think you've been had, boss. Pirates! Uh-oh. Is that 34 ships? Rodiek. thing is they're also attritioning like crazy i mean they they have yeah i gotta say they've just taken that though our morale is not good whereas there is theirs is sitting high so i i mean i could move in but i think i'm just going to wait until my 11k come in their morale just took a nosedive Come on. In the com. Incoming mercs of saviors, yeah. The mercenaries are coming. The mercenaries are coming. Imminent battle. Very likely lose. Come on. We can reinforce. Come on. Get there in time. Get there in time. Save the Romans. Oh, my days. You broke already. You wusses. Imminent battle. Our side might win. I already hope so. I know our morale's really low, though. I'm just hoping crazy numbers makes them get very scared. Please. Please. Good luck getting rid of them. Once I discover how nice Rome is, then you think, yeah. We are victorious. Right, they're they're going back that way. Let's reclaim this. We're at minus twenty one on our war score. Let's uh, just see if we can turn this around before we um, bring this opening relearning to a close. <laughs> the barbarians have have been hired and shall save Rome from a sacking. Hang on a minute, that doesn't quite sound right, does it? Now we've got to siege it back. Well, I'm hoping that it doesn't take as long this time because they've only recently been sieged themselves. I also need to work out what the heck I did to upset all of these guys. I think it was just... was It, it was probably the mission, wasn't it? Just going for encouraging expansion. Oh, we've completed that anyway. That's good. End the Etruscans. I don't... I don't... I don't want to do that. Pop assimilation. And seat the Umbrians. Crush the Samnites. Yeah, that's that. That'd be nice. So we're now working through all of those, I believe. Fun.
morale's back up, which is good. We've got a breach. We're not taking losses, actually, at the moment, which is good. Oh, I would love to go and hit that army, but I think I should probably wait to finish reclaiming this. Huge event. Splendid. Oh, nice. Stability is rising. Huzzah. Oh, they're coming for a battle. You're going to die. Us. Our bottleneck tactic is not as effective as their skirmishing tactic. But we have still smashed them, my lord. They're coming in with 8,000 more. Shipwrecked. One of Rome's most renowned merchant traders. Uh, Appius Claudius uh, Caesicus. Has appeared before our, Senate in uh, before our Senate in tears. He tells of a huge shipment of exotic fruits which sank beneath the roiling waves on a journey from Capua to uh, Mariones. He beseeches us to cover at least some of the losses in order to preserve the reputation of Roman trade throughout the world. How awful we should help. That will help your loyalty. You're fairly loyal. More pressing concerns. Offer to bar up his failing trade empire. Local trade investments. Um, we'll help. We'll be nice. Right. Can we see what they're coming in with? How am I meant to like work out a count them? Is it just picking what I've got? Or we're going to imminent battle more than likely win because we've got that terrain to help us out, I think. Discipline, bottleneck. They went for envelopment. We've got them. We've got them. Alright, let's bring these boys. I probably should let their morale recover, actually. No blade chance. State isn't insurer of last resort. <laughs> they were they were going for Neapolis, yeah, but they they I think they were like, ooh, shiny target over here. Actually, let's let's bring you guys down to Capua. <laughs> Davius Jones. <-less. laughs> nice. Elected. Was it elected office? Now uh, rule our glorious nation. Oh, it's consult. Nice. Now in control. Lovely. Following objective. Grant holdings. So if we go back to government. We're at 86 approval. Now led by this boy. He's got a lot of wealth. Scheme. Sponsor games. Abandon theft. Assassinate. We could try and assassinate someone. Grant holding. Roman is... Oh. Lost that there. Hang on. Grant holding. That is gain 5 approval. Loses 40. Influence. Reward veterans. Octoferco loyalty will lose their personal loyalty. It will disappear. Ooh, interesting. I think we'll just leave you doing stuff there, though. Right. We've reclaimed all that. We're back to minus five. But they have just grabbed that. So let's send you guys in together. Um, where do they have... Do they not have any forts? I don't think they do. So it should be fairly easy to just roll on through. We just need to make sure we break that army. I can do that. A mission has been completed. Nice. Has that unlocked all of those? I'm confused. Oh, we can only complete... Right, we can only choose that next one when we've meet, met the targets. Or we can research that one to... Yeah, kind of unlock further ones. We can call down Omen. Discipline. Yes, please. Mars! Save us in these wars. Bolster, my men. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. The, oh, good. God. They've, they've got 16,000 again. Come on. Oh, mercenaries. Save us. Yes. Okay, it's even. This is it. This is the battle. We've got 12,000 versus their nine. We've arrived in time. Our morale is holding. We've got the discipline buff from Mars. We're going to do it. And our turtle is helping us. Yes. Woo. Please the volcano. Pompeii. Yeah. Unleash the lava. <laughs> oh, wow. That was, um, that worked well. 
And we're going for the caps now. So let's get this. Let's get this land conquered. Bada bing, bada boom. That's one. Hunt them down. Kill every last one of them. <laughs> Mercenaries be the heroes of Rome. Indeedy. Taxes unassigned. Oh, Pontifex Maximus. Um, Scorn family. We want, I, I mean, I just want to bring in those that are loyal to me, really. Probably going to have a terrible thing, but you know. Um, government. They've got a good approval rating. They don't have much control, so that should be... Okay, and then these guys are scorned. So let's bring in... He's low on loyalty. Um, yeah, let's bring in this boy. Oh, look, we're, we're, we're burning it. Burn it to the ground. Oh, we need to have 2,000 men. Oh, whoops. We need a few more over there. Send them over that way. We could, we could reclaim these regions, but those are all sieges. So let's just grab all this territory first. Nice and easy. Quick win. That man should... The trader should take get better care of his fruit. <laughs> yeah. How can it cause waivers? Ooh. It's been carved up by the other Diodachi states. Dun, dun, dun. Keep moving in. Keep conquering. Because there's no fort, so it's just a matter of time just doing the, like, the last little bit of conquest, which is good. War exhaustion is 8.13 uh, 8 out of 30. Happiness, yes. Um, hmm. We can... We can... It's not stability. We can do that one for... Give us monthly war exhaustion reduction. But that comes at a cost of tyranny. I'm not sure I want to do that. So I'm just going to have to stop being such a, a bloody hungry warmonger. What are you telling me you need? Researcher need... Oh, right down here. Yeah, religious advances. Select a new researcher. How do we know who's going to be good for this? Well, you're, you're nice and young. Let's get you to dedicate your entire life to research. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, he's co-consul as well. That's good. Yes, you help us out. Sack him to the court. No, oh, why have we lost that one? Do we have to keep an army there to keep control over it? Or do they quickly nip on back? Oh, oh, they're coming. We're taking some slaves by the looks of things. We keep coming up saying we're grabbing pops and free men. Taxes. Surely no one will notice. Yes, let's raise the taxes. Um, his popularity is going to drop like crazy. Rome gains some stability. No need for gold. Actually, no, we, we, we really do need some gold actually right now. That would be great to have some more gold. I'm not going to lie. I'd love some more. Uh, I think we're going to move. Try and break them again. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Are they are they coming to attack? They are. Ooh. We're in a battle. No, quick. Go in it. Save them. They've got 12,000. Great stack battle round two. We're both in both in bottleneck tactic. Man of Mars. A new character will join our court. One of our soldiers has a reputation of a man blessed by the god of war himself. Inspiring soldier, morale of armies. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to go inspiring man for our soldiers to look up to. Let's get that, because right now that would be very useful for our morale. Need the provincial capitals to occupy completely, else they would just... Oh, uh, right. Is that the provincial capital? How do we work out which one it is? I'm assuming it's that one with the little laurel around it. I'm hoping that's the case, anyway. Yeah, the, the in-game art and everything is awesome. I know they've, they've added in like loads more character models and things like that as well. Over the last few patches. I'm 
assuming it's that one. There's a settlement, but that one says it's the city. Hoping that's it. Process of elimination. Sa yeah, here we go. Sacking of uh, Bovanum. Let the looting be gentle. Um, you know, these guys, these guys have caused me a lot of trouble. So, none shall hide. Foreign flight. Make him welcome. Um, Hellenic Bosporan. Sure, make him welcome. Right, now we need to reclaim our regions over here. And then let that beautiful war score tick on up. How do they feel about oh they they really do hate us yeah i don't think we're going to complete that objective of getting was it them to like us yeah hmm <laughs> we'll gain 400 gold though <laughs> yeah they they are not fans they're at war with us right now yeah pretty much i haven't, I haven't played it really since um since release either and uh oh but i like I would definitely recommend starting with the tutorial to kind of because it's it's definitely helped give me some structure of what to go through. But I mean, we spent the first like half an hour just going through all the various menus and checking out all the UI changes and kind of working out where things were again. And then obviously kind of trying to remind myself of how you actually play this one. Turn the other cheek. Um, lose some loyalty. Current 70. Um, what's that one? That is it's practically carrying. Things are rival, and I don't want rivals. Rivals bad. But yeah, definitely, like, that, I think that's what most people's kind of concern and complaints were with the game at launch, is that it was a, it was a wide brush stroke of a game, but very little, uh, it was only a single layer of paint, as it were. It wasn't, it wasn't particularly deep, which for a grand strategy is kind of a little bit concerning. But now, uh, like, there seems to be a wealth of depth to the game that, we've barely scratched the surface today so i think if you want a new grand strategy that's set within this period uh and you want it you know you want to really dive deep into the the management of your of your of your nation your faction there's also a fair bit of character management as well uh then yeah this is the one to dive into and uh yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing when this goes up on youtube because i'm sure there'll be a wealth of comments of I've just got probably te reteaching me the basics. Because there is... Yeah, I, I feel like I've, 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 there's probably a load of things that I've missed out on that would probably have helped me a lot. But we've, you know, we've been able to expand. We've been able to hold the... Uh, hold the Republic together so far. We've not bankrupted it yet, despite my best efforts. Um, so, yeah. There's that. But we are slowly but surely... Get over there. Why can't I move on out? Oh, there we go. Boom. Oh, we can't. Oh, yeah. We can't because that fort is blocking us? Really? Is zone of control? Oh, zone of control by that one. I was going to say, what's stopping me going through there? Yeah, zone of control. Okay, let's just... Well, actually, let's go help out the siege then. Throw everyone in there. Let's give it time. What's uh what me give it time or some someone else? <laughs> yeah, I think it's definitely one that you know start playing a little bit more of. I'll be able to work stuff out. I'm also going to check out some of the deep dive videos on all the updates. Probably look to see if anyone's done a kind of getting started in Imperator Rome video. Envoys of Epirus, by enemies we will crush them. Rome is added to the first Roman Samnite war. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is Epirus is now in there? Oh, we bring sad news. Gaius Claudius Crassus has died of a heart attack. 76, he was a researcher. Oh, no. Um, so Epirus have joined in? Yeah. Great. Thanks, Epirus, for making my life tougher. Really appreciate that. 
Son of a monkey. I'm actually going to hit these guys because they're at war. Can I? I can't. Why can't I go in there? Can't move here as the unit lacks access. Are we not, are we not at war with these guys? I thought we were. Oh, no, we're not. Good. Uh, uh, oh, right. Epirus. Mm, that's why Epirus overlorded them. They do have a Cassus Bele, but they've actually got a truce with me. I'm having a feeling that Epirus is probably the only one still at war with me now because they've probably forced, if they've vassalized or put everyone else under them. Oh, no, these guys are all coming back. But yeah, they might have been kicked out like that. Okie dokie. Could I get peace now? Maybe. Thank you for the sneak redeem. Swiggity swig swig. I need to go make another one in a minute. And get some lunch. And then we're going to probably jump on over and play some uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I just want to try and finish off this war. Sue for peace. Um, give me that. They will. Oh, they actually will. Will they accept that? We haven't got the cat. We got nah, that one there. 57. Hey, boom. Yeah, you're right. I could do it. I think it's because the Samnites were like, please. Please accept our surrender because you've conquered every I've conquered everything. Um, but the war, the war score, I could have because Epirus joined in. I could have gone after them to probably show superiority as well. Uh, deserve no quarter. Banish those class, but the rest of the sword. I, I, Yeah, reducing that aggressive expansion. That's the one I tend to always go for. So I'm going to pop that in there. Enlisted local power of Epirus. Accepted our generous offer. Yeah, they were probably realizing that was a bit, a bit too, too far stretched for them to um, commit to. That would have been bad. How long do we keep these mercenaries for? Is it until I disband them? That's pretty cool. If so, we desperately need more, more manpower. Punit reforms. Yeah, because we can't really get many more. Crush Samnites. Yes, we have completed that. Boom. So the conquest of Samnium. Capital. Uh, use up to five pops. Become Roman. Fortress. New coast city. We force accept. With newly conquered territory comes inevitable passing of land, distribution of promises. But it's up to us to decide which township will become the Roman hub of the area. Um... I think we'll go for the, the capitals. That gives us the most pop or gets the most of them coming Roman. Boom. Is that one done? Uh, I was saying another one. Pan attack can be completed. At least three non-subject town states in the mainland. Nice. Okay. Abandon destroy Italian allies. Yes. That will try and give me some diplomatic events, which actually probably would be considering all this war. We need a bit of time to consolidate, rest up and uh, sort ourselves out a little, uh, a little bit. Um, where have we got the mercenaries here? They'll keep on serving me what until until I get rid of them. If I disband them, it's 166. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, okay. I think, yeah, we, we've we've managed to just about grasp it. That's good. I need to... Oh, these guys like me again, do they? Domineering stance. Yeah, that's helped. Overlord. So why wouldn't you join me in that war, guys? Um, so if I wanted to go to war here... Ah, see, my allies now would. Just before, they were just like, no, nope, don't want to do it. Don't want to do it, because the remaining tutorial objectives we've got... Well, finish off the Samnites. Bada bing, bada boom. Thanks for political influence. We've got to try and do, sort out relations with um, Zipontum. Destroy Aturia, which, yeah, we can now go to war with them. Although, oh, they've got all of that. Okay, it's just that northern part there. Conquer southern Italy. I think I'd probably go with conquer the south and then turn north. And obviously, the Syracuse. But yeah, I think maybe if we do another stream of this, perhaps next week. Oh, it gives me a lot of manpower as well. But yeah, that would be useful. Um, we'll try and conquer southern Italy and continue playing this. Yeah. So yes, if you've been watching this on YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed this revisit of uh, 
Imperator Rome with the brand new 2.0 Marius update. Again, thanks to Paradox for sponsoring the stream and uh, the video recording. If you're on YouTube, check out the link in the description. Uh, if you're on Twitch, exclamation mark Rome. Have a look at Imperator Rome. Check it out. And uh, yeah, if you've if you've dived into the 2.0 update, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm sure hopefully you'll have provided uh, plenty of <laughs> of uh, critique, uh, hopefully advice, tips and tactics throughout this video as well on things I can do better or things I should be aware of. Uh, but also use it as a way to kind of help out your fellow viewer as well if you're diving into Imperator Rome for the first time or a returning player. Uh, any tips and tactics, helps and hints for, for any of us playing, let us know down below. But yes, till the next one, take care. Ciao for now.